My mom was embarrassed for many years to tell her friends what her daughter does whenever, you know how mothers, like, what do your kids do? She's too embarrassed to say that my daughter is a farmer. <laughs> When I first saw this land, I fell in love in five minutes. Since I don't really come from farming background, I knew it was going to be difficult. My degree is in dance and classical voice. Then I happened to meet a farmer and I fell in love with that style of life. I finally decided I really want a farm of my own where I could grow and put my hands on the land myself. I inquired to many banks. No one was interested in giving me the mortgage. So I asked the realtor, where is this owner living? He says, oh, right next door. So I walked through the woods and knocked on his house. Can I have a word with you? I have not really farmed, but I could sell produce really well. Can you hold a mortgage and give me your land? I will pay you back everything in three years. And as I promised, I paid everything back in three years. <laughs> Yeah, but I had to work 20 hours a day to do that. I spent all my sweats and tears and blood on this land. I don't want to just sell it to another commercial farmer. So hopefully one of my kids would take it over and give it to their children. We have a little gift for everyone. Oh. Little homemade kimchi oh, made by grandma. So much. <laughs> I have three children. Unfortunately, two of them are not interested in farming at all. My second child has been helping me since COVID for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Koreans don't stray from tradition. You don't question the way things are. You just do it and you carry that on. I am sort of seen as the black sheep, I suppose, in my family. Stop stepping on everything! It's like Easter! <laughs> Farming last season for me was the absolute hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And while I appreciate it, while I understand it, while I feel like I could school anybody on it, it's not something that I think I can honestly take on. Yeah. Why are you cleaning already? I have to make a mess again. Yes, but you clean as you go, no? Because isn't it nice that you're gonna go sit on a clean oh. table now? Well, see, my chaos has order, so if you move my things, then I get lost. Yeah, same with my room. My mom doesn't like new things, especially when it has to do with technology. She's very emotionally driven when it comes to farming. So we don't put anything on paper, really. So I'm hoping that I can create a system that's easy for her to follow. Because as of last year, she replanted the same beds like six times. I think I'm a 
born fighter. My mom, she is a fighter, and I think it has to do with where we're from. We are originally from North Korea. They came down before the country was actually divided. They heard the news, so they fled the north part. Many generations we have been in the food industry. My mother and grandparents used to own one of the largest restaurants back in Korea in the 60s and 70s. Food was always a huge part of our family, but not farming though. They sent me when I was 13 and my nine-year-old brother to this country because they wanted us to be educated in a politically safer environment. Characteristically, we have that very northern traits. We're strong women. She's going to yell at me for being slow in about three seconds. Oh man, did you see that? That's a boss move. <laughs> <laughs> Jake says I sound like you when I come in the apartment. the oldest one. I mean, if you guys are going to do this with me for many, many years, I would build a kitchen on the farm to do whatever value I do. I know, so that's why I'm not building one. I just feel like I've known how to do this since I was a kid. I didn't grow up with my mom, but I would come visit her. My mom and my dad separated when I was 11 months. My dad basically said that he was going to be taking the kids because he had the job, he had the stability, and that she had nothing and she wouldn't have been able to take care of us. My dad wanted nothing to do with Korean culture, don't speak Korean, nothing Korean. So that was my life in Maryland until I was 12 or 13. Ever since then, I've sort of just been on my own. The fact that my mom let her kids go, I saw as very weak. Why did my mom abandon me? Why did she leave me? Why didn't she fight for me? How could she let me go? It's gonna go into two bags, though. So I was convinced that if I learned what she was doing, it would bring us closer, and it would help create a better relationship with her. I picked up a lot of the understanding of farming through wanting to spend time with her. Can you start a marijuana plant for me? I should go talk to the Chinese farmer. But if I get you the seeds, can you start them for me? I've used all 
our old curtains and bedspreads already to make all my clothing, so I have no more bedspreads and old curtains. I think it's done. Okay. I wanted to be a dancer, but I wasn't allowed to dance. In Asia, back in olden days, anything that's performing art was for geishas to entertain men. So for me to dance, to entertain others, was not acceptable. I do see my personality as a performer and a grower. I see this whole farm as my stage. This is my stage where I perform. We've been waiting for non-freezing night for a whole week and a half right now. Anything could happen between now and the harvesting season. There's no guarantee, and this is a total gamble that we all farmers have to take. Did you make these trenches? You're a genius. Such a good idea. Ninety-five. <gasps> but you also just did this. You did a lot of heart work on that one time. So go, 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 go. You're not bringing that over there, Mom. You're like coming. so old. Bye. So we're gonna do this uh, three times in season. Should we mark it down? No, it's... I'll write it down somewhere where we did this today on the calendar. It's all in my head. That's not how we're doing this year. Uh-oh. I'm not coming on your emotional roller coaster with you this year of when to do something or not. <laughs> this is nada. Manicure, ningún manicure, nope. Tiene que sacar todo. Ahora no somos personas con manicures, okay? Si quieres puedes, pero es dinero que no no vas a ganar. No voy a hacer. Should I do one more parsley? At, at least three parsley. Because they're not all going to make it. She keeps letting me run this part of the farm or letting me do the herbs and make my own money. So I have 20 different herbs this year. I think I'm in over my head. So you could tell about people's personality by how they work, how they move. You could tell a lot about them by the way they... What do you think my personality is, Mom? Huh? What what do you think I am based on my movements? So you know, certain things you have to keep it as a no comment. Also. I just spoke to a farmer from upstate yesterday. He says at night, where he is, it's about two and a half hours north of New York, still going down to 23 at night. Oh no. Yeah. In the middle of our entire production, there are a lot of times where I just want to get away from the work. But there's really no place where I could quietly go and sit down and take a break. So many times a day. Oh my God, I just feel like crying. This is too overwhelming, too much to do, and I only have one body. I just want to collapse and cry. You can't. 
because I'm the boss. I'm the leader here. I can't let anyone see me crying. These were all I needed. This is the only thing I needed to live, and nobody watered it. We watered four times today. Well, then nobody's, it was four. bone dry. It, it, will, it will perk up. It will, it it will work up. Mom, look at the middle. Yeah, it will perk up. Just, it's still dry. You didn't water. I did. No, it's, still, no, it's, water. No, it's still dry, so give more this water. Literally the only thing I needed the most. Okay, next time you buy something, take care of your own Great, kind of thanks. stuff. Whoa, thank you. Heads up. Loss in this business is part of the production. We can't always gain, gain, gain. Which is a difficult concept for a lot of people. And I understand loss comes with gain. What got me through all those difficult years? Responsibility. As the head of the household, I have my mother and three kids and the people who work for me. That responsibility kept me awake all night. But now, thinking back, maybe I needed those to be here now. I think my mom has sacrificed a lot of her well-being, her family and her body and her mental health for this career that she has. I definitely look up to her for what she is and her strength now. I just hope I'm successful as she was. I know it's not forever. I know my mom doesn't plan on doing this for too much longer. Well, physically, I don't think she can. And so at least I know that I had a part of this vision with her and for her. I'm proud of myself, which is not something that I really grew up with. It's nice to do something that other people appreciate. You're growing plants and you get to see what happens to those plants. I feel rewarded because I see my blood, sweat, and tears going into something that other people are enjoying. I think food always has to be a very central part of what I end up doing. Any relationships have their own difficulties. 
Same with mother and daughter. So there are hardships, there are momentary turbulences. My true hope for Yuni that she takes over the farm from me. She'll run the farm her own way, and which is fine. It doesn't have to be my way. I hope she understands that someday.